Yo, Tyler here. I just came back from No Limits Wrestling, Strong St Steel City Strong Style Tournament. And <laughs> it sure lived up to its name. It was definitely, for sure, Strong Style. And what a card, man. Pierre, you did an amazing job. Much thanks to you. And uh, keep them coming. That's all I gotta say. So, to start off the card, we started with the non-tournament Hamilton Pro Wrestling Showcase match where you had BMD taking on JTK, uh, JT Kirk. And that they those two showed you why they are up and coming in Ontario because they put on a clinic. And they hit each other with everything they had. And in the end, BMD hit the 450 splash and picked up the victory. So then we went to the first round matches. First, we had Steve Brown versus Mark Shaw, the grinder. And um, the grinder had a bit of a fan club come out to the ring with him. So Steve Brown's like, who the hell are these guys? Which was great. It was interesting. See, Steve Brown really worked on uh, the grinder's leg. And um, in the end, but in an amazing upset, the grinder, Mark Shaw, picked up the victory over Steve Brown to the shock of most of the people in the audience, which included uh, Joey Kings and Ethan Page. And if you were there, you heard some great commentary, uh, great remarks from those two. It was the best. Hey Pierre, if you're thinking about um, some future events, you should really consider getting Joey Kings and Ethan Page to be your commentators, because they were hilarious listening to those two so after that we had the second match first round match which was Josh Alexander the walking weapon versus Double D douchebag Dylan Daniels the star boy and again great match but Dylan being the douchebag that he was pissed off the walking weapon and he was shown why Josh Alexander is called the walking weapon and um, Josh beat him so senseless that he could not continue so your winner Josh Alexander and moving forward Josh Alexander shows you do not piss off the walking weapon people no then after that we had Holden Albright taking on Kobe Thirst. Another great match between those two. Great caliber. Kobe Durst showed you why he was considered, by why he replaced Mark Wheeler, and showed why he belonged there in the Strong Style Tournament. He took it to Holden Albright, but Albright was too much for Kobe to handle, and. Albright picked up the victory. Then, for your final first round match, probably one of the b best matches so far. Early candidate of match of the year for 2018, I think. Well, quite a few of these matches are candidates. Um, but it was Tarek versus the King of the North, Carter Mason. And oh my god, those two. It was hit after hit, counter after counter. It was craziness. Like, those two threw everything they had at each other. But in the end, Tarek, the OG, picked up the victory. And a good class of sportsmanship. They shook hands at the end of the match. And they, it feels like those two have mutual respect for each other. Okay, so then... We went to the second round matches where you had 
Tarek taking on um, the grinder. And Tarek really zeroed in on the uh, leg injury and picked up the victory. And if you were there, um, the grinder seemed to be legitimately injured because by the end of the night, he was walking away in a crutch. He was needing a crutch to keep his weight to help him walk out. And the second second round match was Josh Alexander versus Holden Albright. And <laughs> those two took each other to school. But again, he's the walking weapon for a reason and Josh Alexander picked up the victory. So, uh, and then after that, we took a little break from the uh, tournament matches and we saw the grudge tag team match, which was Matthew Grant and Rip Impact taking on Vander and the Young Bloods champion, Jesse Mack. <laughs> uh, uh, Matthew Grant didn't seem to really want to be in any of the action because as soon as any the uh, um, Vander or Jesse got any offense on him, he quickly tagged, tagged an impact. But uh, eventually we did see uh, Jesse versus Grant and um, <laughs> she proved why she is the long, uh, Young Bloods champion. But in the end, uh, Rip Impact ended up taking the pinfall with Matthew Grant cowering in the corner. Uh, not wanting to save his partner. So your winners, Vander and Jesse Mack. <coughs> then we had your strong style final match, which was Ontario's greatest, the OG Tarek, taking on the walking weapon, Josh Alexander. And boy, those two showed you why they made it to the finals. Like the chops, the kicks, everything was just brutal. And um, it was like you, you were on the edge of your seat for most of that match. But your winner and inaugural Strong Style Tournament Champion and the new um, Strong Style, No Limit Strong Style Champion, the walking weapon himself, Josh Alexander. Uh, uh, and, but by the looks of this strong style tournament, it was crazy, very crazy. What more can you say? But altogether, an amazing card, and you can't believe it was only the second event for No Limits Wrestling. Oh no, third event for No Limits Wrestling, because they did present the Death Proof Tournament. <coughs> but overall, like I said at the beginning of the video. Pierre, you did an amazing job. Keep them coming, and I can't wait for the next one on April 21st. And for if you're interested, it will be No Limits Wrestling Cross the Line, where newly crowned Strong Style Champion Josh Alexander will defend his championship belt as well. They will introduce another championship belt, the Deathmatch Champion. More about that a little later on. Then, for people that bought the VIP tickets, you were treated to the steel cage match where you had the commission represented by Tyler Hill and Aiden Rain taking on White Trash, Mad Cash, and the King of Pain himself, Papa Proof, Warhead. Initially, Warhead was like, because Jesse Mack came out with them. He's like, we got, tough, we got three tough motherfuckers. 
motherfuckers here. You got three scab rats. Hey, Bill, why don't you hop in the cage with us? Of course, Bill being the scab rat chicken shit he is, uh, decided not to sh come in, take the offer. And um, it was a very gruesome, gruesome match. They were all bleeding by the end of it. And um, uh, we had an interference by uh, Nick Watt, the other scab rat, or what Bill said, Bill Chase would say, his ace in the hole. And showing the men that they are, the true men that they are, they decided to take the pin on Jesse Mack. <laughs> Some men. <coughs> and then proceeded to, because they managed to get Matt Cash out of the cage, did a three on one beatdown of Warhead. But Warhead survived it still. And uh, Bill Chase, being Bill Chase, decided to glow and glow and glow. But, unknown to him, Adam, oh, he knew Adam Hayes was in the audience. And he's like, uh, and because Bill Chase was then trying to threaten to shut No Limits Wrestling down. Uh, but Adam Hayes had to trump up his sleeve. Because Adam Hayes has been doing this a lot longer than Bill and has more connections than Bill does. He announced that he is the commission's representative for No Limits Wrestling. And he promised the crowd that No Limits will be around for a very, very long time. Much to the how much it pissed Bill off. But also, not only that, he managed to uh, issue Bill many, many fines, including Aiden Rain. You did not have a license. You weren't a licensed wrestler. Bill Chase, you are not a licensed manager, so you should not have been down at ringside. Here's your notification for the hearing with all these fines as well. Tyler Hill, same as Aiden Rain, had no license, and they were all fine, much, a lot, a lot of money. So, the commission kind of, the guys there kind of turned their back on Mr. Bill Chase, <laughs> which allowed um, Matt Cash and Shion, Shion, Shiomo, Shion, uh, to throw him back in the ring and let's just say kick the shit out of Bill and then Shiomo managed to take out the trash, Mr. Bill Chase, as everyone was singing, na 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 na, hey hey hey, goodbye. So at the end of the day, was it really a true victory, Bill? No, because death proof, fuck yeah. But that was the um, basis of what happened at No Limit, Steel City Strong Style, Strong Style Tournament. And for anyone knowing what's coming up, you have uh, New School Wrestling presents Game Day, happening on February 4th at 2 p.m. at the Rock Pile. Pro Wrestling Ontario, Untouchable, happening on September, March 24th at the Burlington Lions Cent um, Club. Rescue Mania 2, which is happening at the Lincoln Alexander um, Center here in Hamilton. And finally, No School Wrestling, I mean, ugh, No Limits Wrestling, Cross the Line, April 21st, at the Jet Center, at the Jet Hall, 746 Barton Street, Hamilton.
as well. If you're at any of those events and you want to see what No Limits is about, you can always pick up their first show. Great deal, 10 bucks, definitely do it. As well as you can pick up some great merch like the shirt I'm wearing. But for now, follow uh, the, some of my other buddies, uh, Brian, Cindy, Keegan, they all have their own stuff going on. But for now, peace out all, I gotta get back to Toronto.